Welcome to the Blockchain Report, where we discuss all things blockchain technology, digital assets, DeFi, NFTs, and much more. Today's video, we will be diving into Layer Zero and some of the applications built on Layer Zero or built with our technology. Um, Layer Zero kind of connects all these different blockchains and, and stuff together to allow easy to use uh, interface with different blockchains, allowing different uh, projects and protocols to talk to each other and send messages back and forth. Very, very powerful in connecting the whole blockchain space. So layer zero, it's not, it, it doesn't have a specific like layer zero. You can't just go to the, like you can't just interact with the project directly. You have to go, um, it's like a piece of software that is run on a bunch of different projects. So you have to interact with it on different stuff like Stargate, for example, Sushi Swap. <clears throat> Some of these we'll be covering today, Tofu NFT and Radiant. And there's a picture of their ecosystem. So it's designed for lightweight messaging passing across chains. So they provide authentic and guaranteed messaging message delivery with configurable trustness, trustlessness. Uh, currently, Layer Zero supports on most blockchains, such as Ethereum, Arbitrum, Polygon, Optimism, Aptos, Phantom, BNB Chain, and others. And this is just uh, some of their, some of the projects and protocols that they deal with or interact with. So the infrastructure, wallets, the bridge, bridges, um, Stargate will be your main one. The main ones we'll be going into today. Um, and also Aptos. Aptos, I won't bridge anything because I've just bridged stuff yesterday. And it takes like two or three days for that to come out of Aptos. But these two, uh, and I don't have the Bitcoin. The Bitcoin B is a bridge for Bitcoin assets. And I don't have a Bitcoin wallet set up on here. So you can... Uh, yeah, test that out yourself. And USDC, this is a there's like testnet uh, bridges that you can interact with too that don't cost anything. And here's some DeFi protocols built on or using Layer Three, and we'll go into Radiant and Sushi Swap, Launchpads, Social, NFT Marketplaces, Tofu NFT is a popular one, uh, NFT collections. Game NFTs, um, NF, regular NFTs, I guess. I don't know what that is. Uh, no ma uh, name service and some DEXs. But we'll just show you, you know, they, they just had their Series B funding. And I guess it was pretty good. And we just want to interact with, I'll show you how to interact with all these different protocols and try and qualify for a potential airdrop in the future. But they've been, uh, they got base that they're going to be deploying a test net on. And then they have Avalanche uh, and AVAX test net that they're working on uh, with Uniswap and some other, uh, was this core DAO launched the core bridge powered by layer zero the radiant camp capital expand uh, completed their expansion to BNB chain via the layer zero um, OFT standard I believe that's omni chain something I don't exactly remember where is it at let's see I don't remember what the OFT is but it's okay. We'll just uh, get into some of these. So if you're gonna interact with this protocol, you want to, one, bridge, fun, bridge your funds over to different tests or to different networks. So right now we'll swap over to, um, let's say Optimism. Cause I think I got some some stuff on optimism. So connect our wallet. 
And you can do Arbitrum, you can do Polygon, whatever funds you have. We'll click on Optimism. And if we, if, if you look at uh, the Arbitrum Foundation and see what their qualifications were for the Arbitrum airdrop, right? We'll go in here. We might have to switch our network. Yeah, we'll have to switch the network and So the first thing you want to do for any ecosystem is bridge funds either into that net onto that network or across different networks. And since layer zero is just a protocol that other it's like a messaging software that other projects use. So Stargate uses layer zero to send messages back and forth to different blockchains so it'll send messages from arbitrum to bnb or bnb to avalanche or what whatever network stargate uses it'll use layer zero as the messaging protocol so just by bridging tokens over from different net from one network to another on stargate will put you in that qualification for using layer zero and we kind of base this off of Arbitrum. You know, you want to bridge. Do as many bridges as you can. And for example, assets bridged to Arbitrum 1. So you don't have to deposit a full, this is just kind of a, a guide, but this is deposits total. So if you transfer, let's say $1,000, into Arbitrum and then back to Optimism or out to another network and then back in and you do that 10 or 11 times, um, you would qualify for this. So it's not all at once, it's over time, how much have you accumulated in volume? So you can just come in here and every couple days or so, let's say I wanna transfer um, my USDC, you know, if you have USDC, you want to swap it, just, I would say try and do as much as you can each week. Like if you can get 50 bucks in here and swap it over, you know, two or three times a week, just send it, you know, to different networks, just using these features it will one increase your transaction count and two increase your volume your bridged volume so i could do a hundred dollars send it to other networks like optimism and and polygon and stuff if i do that a hundred times that equals ten thousand dollars of volume <clears throat> so that will help increase your chances Transactions over time. You want to make sure your uh, optimism did this too. You want to increase your amount of transaction volume uh, each month, or you want to be consistent. So each month you want to have at least a few transactions, and also transaction frequency. So if you you know you want to you want to conduct at least a hundred transactions if you can just you know one per day or do two or three transactions every couple days just enough to to be consistent with it um, transaction value so if you if you do the bridge you know deposit if you have that much um, value then you should you should hit this pretty easy but this is total accumul uh, cumulative volume not just a one-time transaction so you know doing uh 
I'm gonna get out of here because that's a. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. So do as many swaps throughout the week as you as you can or feel comfortable with. I also suggest getting some, at least putting like ten dollars or something in one of these pools, just to have your tokens in the or at least some transactions on other features. You don't just want to do a, a bridge transfer and, and stuff. You want to, not saying you have to keep your funds locked up here, but you know, I just deposited some in this, in this pool. And I also have some Stargate tokens staked and I hold like a hundred Stargate tokens so that way actually yeah so I oh sorry I was getting caught up thinking of something else so I stake that and I can also farm tokens I don't know if I have my USDT farmed. I can't farm on optimism, but that's okay. So, uh, yeah, I don't have any farms. Oh, it is USDC. Okay. So look, I can farm this. Oh, I need to switch to optimism. So just make transactions on here, interact, and you'll increase your your chances on this. Let me see. I'm just going to add this here. And I like Stargate. They can bridge funds over. I think the longest I had to wait was 30 minutes, which is way better than hours. Way better than hours. Uh, okay. So I got my amount farmed. <coughs> and if you want to stake some Stargate, I'm going to just keep it in here. So that way I have some transactions. So make sure that you're bridging what you can. And actually, I'm going to... I'm gonna move. Actually, I will swap. So sushi swap next. Once you bridge funds over to whatever network you feel comfortable with, um, or at least one that you can use on sushi swap. So it looks like Arbitrum, Polygon, all the good ones, um, Optimism, Finance Smart Chain, Phantom, Avalanche. So since we are on optimism, oops, we'll go ahead and jump over here, connect our MetaMask. And I'm going to change, I'm going to swap, come on. I'm going to swap my USDC over to... Or actually, because the, the price of ETH right now is looking like it's getting ready to come down a little bit. Let me check it. Let me check it. Yeah, we might have a little pullback here soon. So... Yeah, with the upgrade coming, I might. Uh, swap a little of this. <coughs> I'm 
now. Okay. All right. Now I'll go ahead and just transfer some of not to ETH, but go to Polygon. Actually, refresh this. Make sure you got the updated amount. <clears throat> we'll do one, a quick bridge. And yeah, just come in here and swap tokens around. Get your volume up. We'll go ahead and swap this over to Polygon. And once your funds <clears throat> Have been bridged you will you can do it again you know, just keep doing it back and forth if you want however makes sense to you you know whatever works for your uh, for your style you know, everyone's got a little preference I'm not sure. Okay. There you go. Look at that. A minute and a half to bridge. So yeah. That's uh that's Stargate. Stargate's got a lot of cool stuff. Sushi swap. Go in here and, and also earn. They have an earn feature. I don't have any pools in here. Yeah, not on sushi. But tofu is another another one that's built on or that uses layer zero it's kind of a cool nft marketplace you can check now this is on the arbitrum network you can go into all these different ones and check them out and yeah look at it can buy an NFT in here if you want. I'm not too interested in using uh, to getting NFTs, but if you want to use this, you can you can buy them. ZK Animals is pretty cool. And Radiant is one of the popular DeFi apps. It's powered by Layer Zero. Yes, we continue. So it's only on Arbitrum and BNB chain right now, but we'll go ahead and connect. All right, close out of Tofu. That was pretty cool, man, pretty cool. I had a transfer last night that took a half hour, so it's a much nicer Oh my God, my manager just bought it. <laughs> Managers being goofy. Yeah, we'll connect our wallet and I need to swap over to Arbitrum or switch over. Let's see, Arbitrum mainnet. And we are in, I don't wanna really care. So let's see. I've what I've done is locked some some uh, liquidity pool tokens. You can also bridge here too. You can send, you know, to Arbitrum or Binance from here, but I believe it's only the Radiant token. And if you want to buy, you can go over to. I think it's. Oh, balancer, yeah. So go over to the dashboard and you can see the current balances and and stuff like that. But the markets, uh, 
Interesting. So what we can do in here is we will see Let's let's check out this uh Hold on. Yeah, let's let's check this out. Check some of these markets. Oh, wait, I don't. I wonder if we can lock our Arbitrum tokens. Let's see here. No, it just. Yeah, I'd like to lock up some Arbitrum tokens in here. Now, what do we have on Arbitrum? Let's check it out. Oh, we got some USDC. We'll lock up some USDC in here and see if we can get another transaction going. We'll deposit. Approve. And you don't have to keep it in here. Yeah, so one click loop and lock earn yield on a greater collateral value with up to 5x leverage through an automated process that repeats the borrow and deposit cycle multiple times. In addition to looping, this function will also borrow and convert ETH into DLP, dynamic lock liquidity, in order to maintain the minimum eligibility required to unlock emissions. You can adjust your default lock length on the manage page. If you're already eligible for emissions, additional DLP will not automatically create be automatically created through this function. So let's deposit and confirm. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. We'll start looping this. Just get some transactions going. I mean, it's it's not difficult. There's just a lot of little things to do and to make sure that you have enough funds for transaction fees is another thing because you can you can make uh, a thousand transactions but if they're you know 50 cents 10 to 50 cents you know you could spend a hundred dollars you could spend five hundred dollars over time, over time. But I don't think a lot of people would be making a thousand transactions. But if so, you know, you can, uh, huh. they knocking shit upstairs, man. Loud as fuck. Hmm. 
Okay, maybe I have to go to the to manage over here. Yeah, it's a little weird to navigate, so we're going to go back into here. Oh. I don't know if that actually does anything over there. Um Yeah, I'm <clears throat> I'm going to withdraw this and then do the lock and loop cuz I think it's two separate or two different functions. So if you do the regular deposit, then it won't it won't work. So we'll deposit We'll do a two and a half. All right. Lock and loop. Approve. And just do this on a weekly basis. Or twice a week. And Slowly but surely, you'll add a lot of transactions to your, your toolkit. So now we can go in here. So yeah, we want to get this up. Let's see. Interesting. I don't remember borrowing that, but huh. That's interesting. Well. I don't want to do ease. I don't want to zap. I already zapped some. Yeah, I mean, it's not a... Oh, that's borrow. Yeah, kind of go in here and, and play around. I don't have a outstanding balance in here so it's interesting yeah just come in and play around with this stuff it it's kind of odd to navigate but it can once you get a feel for how this works it'll be easier to navigate and also check out uh, some of the tests, the test net bridges. So if you go to the layer zero homepage, scroll all the way down to the bottom, it shows bridges right here. They got the, the Aptos, Bitcoin, and then they got two test net bridges. And this will be the last little thing I cover, but the Aptos bridge, you got to connect both your Ethereum virtual machine or Ethereum wallet, which mine is MetaMask, and then <clears throat> your preferred Aptos wallet. So I have the Martian wallet. You'll connect both of these, and it'll show you how to transfer between. Yeah, it'll show you right here your different wallets, and you want to transfer between these networks and Aptos or Aptos and those networks. This is also built on layer three or layer zero. This is the Bitcoin 
bridge. I haven't used Bitcoin.b. I think it's to Avalanche. But I haven't used that, so you can dive into that at your own discretion. And the USDC, this is a test a test net bridge, so you can transfer funds between the Gurley test net and Fuji Avalanche test net. You go in here and just make some token swaps. They have a faucet that right here, USDC faucet ETH and AVAX faucet to give you those test net tokens. And there's a test net bridge as well, which you'll kind of have to go in here and look at how it's, it's swapped <laughs> meth. It's not, that's not good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, those are the different bridges. And, you know, remember Stargate is your, is your best friend. Stargate and Sushi Swap. And just explore these and play around and, and have fun. Get excited for some airdrops. But that's all I wanted to cover on Layer Zero. A lot of stuff to get into. Next, I'll dive more into StarkNet and ZK Sync to explore those and get a good a good routine down of what protocols to use and kind of a flow like this one. You know, bridging is the first step. Bridge funds to and from networks, swapping tokens, providing liquidity or buying NFTs if you want, but providing liquidity, removing liquidity helps with transactions and just, uh, yeah, admit, that and the consistency of which of how you how you perform these transactions and the the token volumes that you accumulate so hope these tips help and you know uh, be on the lookout for more videos on these different networks and the protocols used on them but hope you learned a lot hope it helped and if you have any questions comments leave them down below and with that, this is a blockchain report. Have a wonderful day. Peace.